the iPhone 12 Pro Max records an awesome HDR, but so does the Air 2. But which one does better? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everyone, my name is Farhan and welcome to yet another video. Hope you all are doing well and keeping safe. The iPhone 12 Pro Max gets you stunning display with HDR recording at 4K up to 60 frames per second and the Air 2 gets you HDR recording 4K up to 30 frames per second. But which of these does better and which one would you rather use in certain situations? Let's take a look at the footage that was shot just yesterday. Both videos were shot at 4K 24 frames per second at the same time and at the same height. Now which one do you think looks better? Of course, it's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now before I go any further, the 12 Pro Max, the 12 Pro, the 12 and the 12 Mini all have HDR video recording. But since I have the 12 Pro Max, I thought of comparing these two cameras. Now why the iPhone 12 Pro Max's video does better is because the iPhone 12 Pro Max records in 10-bit color while the Air 2 records in 8-bit color. A difference of two? Yes, it does make a world of a difference. 8-bit records in 256 million colors, while 10-bit records four times that amount, over a billion colors. That's where the difference lies. More colors are captured from the 12 Pro Max's camera. Another thing to keep in mind, the 12 Pro Max does capture HDR video, including Dolby Vision, which is a really talked about feature now generally when filming, I usually use the d light mode when filming with the Air 2 but sometimes filming in HDR does help. Now if I'm looking for a few shots just to upload on Instagram, I will definitely record in HDR because I don't have to do much color grading on it. But recording in HDR does have its benefits especially during golden hour and if you're recording against the sun. Now if you have any of the iPhone 12s, you'd rather record with that or go to places where you can't walk, for example, at the middle of the lake, then you definitely can use the HDR from your drone, which is still pretty good. But you'd rather stick with the iPhone 12 Pro Max's HDR video recording, I'm sorry, the 12 series, because it does do a better job than the Air 2. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, don't forget to hit the like button as it really helps this video. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're notified when I upload my next video. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're interested in learning how I capture cinematic footage with the Mini 2 or the Air 2, I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below. So make sure you go check that out.